Have you ever noticed how often we find ourselves automatically immersed in the endless timelines of TikTok or Instagram without even realizing the passage of time? I bet you have. This experience is virtually omnipresent, occurring in various scenarios, such as between sets at the gym, during a family lunch, at work, in college, and so on. But the issue goes beyond these moments. Have you observed how easily we get irritated at the slightest sign of hunger? Or how we become increasingly unable to savor the small moments that should bring us joy? It's not just a subjective impression, but a reality that intensifies with each passing day. Furthermore, there are significant changes in human behavior. The ability to maintain concentration is diminishing, leading some to suspect attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD. Patience for tasks requiring mental effort is declining. Palates are becoming more demanding, and even the willingness to engage in face-to-face -face conversations is waning. Undeniably, we are more captivated by the screen of our cell phones than anything else around us. Behind these phenomena lies a common thread, dopamine. The book Dopamine Detox astutely explores the relationship between dopamine and many of the mentioned behaviors. This neurotransmitter plays a crucial role in our lives, shaping our response to stimuli and influencing how we experience the world. Understanding this connection can be the first step in regaining control over our habits and rediscovering an appreciation for simple and meaningful moments. This book is a true gem, a rich source of knowledge that will serve as our compass from now on. Now, let's embark on a journey back in time, specifically to the early 20th century, where Edward Thorndike, a pioneer in psychology, conducted a fascinating experiment with cats using a cleverly designed structure called the puzzle box. The dynamics of this experiment are intriguing. Thorndike piqued the curiosity of the cats by placing a treat outside the box. Eager for the reward, the felines became agitated and began exploring ways to escape. After numerous attempts, the cats discovered a lever that, when pressed, instantly opened the door. Through trial and error, they learned to press the lever, open the door, and then savor the much-desired treat. Intrigued by this experience, Berhus Frederick Skinner, a renowned behavioral psychologist, decided to conduct his experiments, shedding light on crucial discoveries. In his first experiment, Skinner placed a rat inside a box containing a lever. This is just the beginning of the fascinating journey these experiments unleashed, revealing valuable insights into human and animal behavior. Through the exploration of these findings, we will be guided along a path filled with knowledge and understanding of the complexities that surround our habits and behaviors. Imagine a curious rat facing an intriguing box. Each time it presses a lever, even randomly, it learns that this behavior results in a succulent reward, in this case, a delicious treat. This is known as positive reinforcement, a concept that extends beyond the corridors of experimental laboratories. In a second act, the visionary Skinner creates a unique box divided by a small barrier that an agile rodent could overcome. He introduces a twist, a melt electric shock, creating tangible discomfort. Surprisingly, the rodent quickly learns it can avoid the discomfort by jumping to the shock-free area. Thus, the behavior of overcoming the barrier is reinforced by the avoidance of an unpleasant stimulus, introducing us to the concept of negative reinforcement. In a third act, Skinner challenges expectations. He places a rat in a new box, seemingly not hungry, but the rodent, perhaps driven by curiosity or associating the lever with obtaining food from past experiments, presses it. However, unlike previous experiments, food is not guaranteed with each activation. It appears unpredictably, feeding uncertainty. The rat then becomes addicted to the act of pressing the lever fueled by dopamine releases that generate the uncertain expectation of a reward. This narrative resonates with us, doesn't it? Think of slot machines and social media. Both offer unpredictable and random rewards. Just as pulling the lever of a slot machine gives us a dopamine boost, increasing our thirst for rewards. Scrolling through a social media timeline provides the same sensation because we never know exactly what will come next. 
This is the intriguing dance between behavior, reward, and dopamine that permeates not only the rats in experiments, but also the essence of our modern interactions. Ah, the irresistible dance of dopamine, an addictive game that the brilliant minds behind social media fully comprehend. These companies invest fortunes to turn their platforms into true bait for our primitive brains. Just like a rat gets hooked on pressing a lever to receive food randomly, we also find ourselves entangled in the fascinating practice of scrolling a screen to discover what awaits us in the next update. If you've ever felt the compulsion of your phone, know that you're not alone. The author of this book suggests an intriguing solution, a 21-day dopamine fast. This entails challenging yourself to avoid, as much as possible, sources that trigger significant dopamine releases for three weeks. In simpler terms, 21 days without social media, Netflix, alcohol, cigarettes, pornography, video games, fast food, or anything involving a tempting reward for your brain. It might seem like a Herculean task at first glance, and indeed, it is challenging. However, the promised benefits by the author make it worthwhile. Imagine freeing yourself from compulsion, rediscovering mindfulness, and reconnecting with life's simplest pleasures. Wouldn't that be a valuable challenge to undertake? The author believes so, and the decision to embark on this dopamine fast could be the first step towards a significant transformation in your relationship with the digital world and consequently with yourself. The author proposes a captivating twist, replacing highly stimulating activities with practices that promote balance and introspection. Running, stretching, meditating, reading, or simply taking a moment to think and reflect become the new stars of the show. By depriving yourself of intense sources of dopamine, your levels will begin to stabilize, leading to a return to pleasure in the simple things in life, such as the mentioned activities. This recommendation gains prominence because many people are stuck in a cycle of demands from the dopaminergic system, where even normal stimuli no longer bring satisfaction. What was once exciting becomes mundane, as if life were in grayscale. To illustrate this phenomenon, think of a drug user. Initially, a small dose provides immense ecstasy, but over time, the same amount no longer produces the same effects. This leads to the relentless pursuit of ever larger doses to maintain the initial level of pleasure. Just like someone in rehabilitation who distances themselves from the substance to recharge their system, the proposal is to abstain for determined periods from what leads us to addiction. And the magic number suggested by the author, 21 days, a challenge that could be the key to a significant transformation in our relationship with dopamine and, consequently, with life. Venturing into a 21-day challenge may seem like an almost impossible mission, especially if considering giving up all the activities mentioned earlier. But fear not, there are alternatives that make this challenge more manageable. One approach is to create individual 21-day challenges for each activity you want to reduce. Another option is to group these activities into blocks of two or three and tackle the challenge with each block independently. For example, if there are six things you want to stop, divide them into two blocks of three and start a 21-day challenge for each block. Understand that these habits have been built over years and containing all of them at once will not be an easy task. Imagine the following scenario. If we place a carrot in front of an empty stomach donkey, it will be motivated enough to move forward. However, if we've already filled its stomach with more pleasurable things beforehand, the carrot will lose its appeal. Now think of our brain as the donkey, the carrot as the non-appealing pleasure, like a walk in the outdoors, and the other things that quickly satisfy it, such as social media, fast food, and video games as what fills the donkey's stomach. By feeding ourselves daily with these quick gratifications, we lose the desire to engage in simple activities that should naturally bring us pleasure and motivation, like taking a walk. The dopamine fasting strategy is based on depriving the donkey enough so that it feels motivated to pursue the carrot. In other words, creating space to rediscover pleasure in the simple and gratifying activities of life. This strategy will not only open the doors to rediscovering pleasure in small things, 
like enjoying a fruit, contemplating a sunset, or diving into a good read, but it will also rescue you from the compulsion for excessively appealing stimuli. Although the dopamine release from these activities is smaller compared to the frenzy of a TikTok, it is enough to satisfy you more genuinely. The author suggests various activities to overcome withdrawal, but one deserves special mention, writing. A notable example is Emperor Marcus Aurelius, a powerful figure of his time who faced devastating losses, such as the death of his wife, children, and the Antonine Plague. He used writing as a tool to process emotions and record reflections. His diary turned into the powerful book Meditations, a compilation of timeless thoughts. Instead of seeking momentary and superficial pleasures as a deceptive escape, channel your thoughts onto paper. Witness the magic happen as writing becomes your fundamental ally in overcoming the 21-day dopamine fasting challenge. Allow yourself this introspective journey and discover the transformative power of recorded words.